Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Ellen Louise McCollum Drake, and it says she went missing here in 1967. She was 22 years old at that time in Portland, Oregon. It says 5'5". Five five. I don't know why I thought she was 5'4". And then the weight says 50 to 300 pounds. Um, there's no photo here. It said blonde, strawberry blonde hair, dyed hair regularly in different colors. So, And they're not sure of her eye color here. So there's not a lot of information there. And then I Google search for some photos. And so this might be a photo of her and that might be. And I don't know if this is or not. And somebody seems to have thought. I would think they probably thought that was her. That's why that's there. But I think that person's only like five foot one or five foot two. It does look similar to this person though. Is that a photo of her? Huh. I guess it does look similar, right? Why do they have all these different photos? They can't all be her, right? Maybe that's not even a photo of her. Maybe it's a photo of somebody. There's a photo of her, it says. But the other photo, it's just one that's scrolling by. Who is that? Denise Kathleen Anderson has been missing from Sacramento, California since 1971. And that one really does look like this Jane Doe, doesn't it? And who is that Jane Doe? That's interesting. I didn't even... It doesn't say. That's interesting, isn't it? So, this is probably a photo of her then. And... This says the records stop May 22nd, 1970. And then I go here on the newspapers.com and it says... This is from August 29th, 1969. It says, Ellen Louise Drake, Route 2, Box 513. It says, six cases heard involving license violations. So I'm wondering if that is her. And this chain though stood out to me. Um, estimated date of death, 1970 to 1975 from Finley Creek, Oregon, 14 to 25 years old, 5 foot 1 to 5 foot 4. 114 to 140 pounds, light brown, sandy, or blonde hair. She was pregnant. And I don't know if that's her or not, but that's the one that stood out to me. I, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. And as far as the other girl, Denise Kathleen Anderson that went missing from Sacramento, California, who is that other doe? When did, when did that other doe? Was that other doe in Washington? I'm talking to you like you could answer, right? Whoops, not Canada. U.S. And I don't remember if it was Oregon or Washington. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in this video since I'm already doing it. You females, come on, come on. I'll check Oregon first. And that's really this one, this one, 1976. Okay, so this one died 1966 to 76. And this is Denise Kathleen Anderson, who's been missing from Sacramento, California, since 1971, and she's 22 years old. And I don't know how tall she is, 
but she looks very similar to this person. And so that's who I would, you know, take an uneducated guess on who that might be. Um, ooh, do I have a height on her? I think there's Charlie Project would have a height, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks so much like her. 22 years old, 5 foot 2 to 5 foot 4. And this one says 4'11 to 5 foot 1. So 5 foot 1 and 5 foot 2 is pretty close. And she went missing in 1971. Brown hair, brown eyes. This one died 1966 to 76. I don't know the race and things like that. Leather coat with fringe. Um, so I don't know if that could be her, but I really think it looks so similar to her. I really think that looks like her. I do. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. And this one is the one that I, I don't know, to me, this one, there's no photo of her, but they don't know the weight, so I don't know if they, they say five foot five, but this is five foot one to five foot four, but for some reason, this is the one that I lean towards when I think of Ellen Drake. I just, and then later on, I'll probably find someone else as I'm going through, thinking, oh, it could be that person, right? But for now, that's the one that I lean towards. And this says she went missing in 1967, but this says 1970, and this might be her in 69. I'm not sure what this is all about. Um, some kind of court, municipal court, and it appears to be in Oregon, right? So I don't know if it's the same person or not, and I don't know if it expired because she was missing, but she would have had to have gone to court, wouldn't she? I don't know, right? Like I said, I don't even know if that's her. But, I'm leaving it in the video, just in case it is. Anyway, um, don't forget to pray for their loved ones and their families. And if you have any information about the cases, please contact authorities and let them know. Even if you gave them the information years ago, as it's been through investigator after investigator after investigator, and the information has been stored in so many different ways, from somebody trying to remember it, remember the information, somebody taking notes, somebody might have stored it on floppy drives or different software programs and the computers may have crashed, or maybe you didn't feel like it was relevant at the time, or maybe you were afraid to come forward. If you have any information, or maybe you feel like it's hearsay, whatever information you have on any of these cases, any of these cases, whether it's the unidentified Jane Doe's or missing persons, I recommend that you come forward and you give that information to investigators or authorities or professionals who are looking into the cases trying to solve them. And I'm, I'm sure it would be a relief of their family that, that has suffered and the investigators as well. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to leave comments and have a great day. Bye-bye.